The way it works is this. A man and a woman, they come together in the context of what? Marriage. So the, it's, just, it's just like this. It's kind of like the, the, the glue that kind of holds it together. The glue that holds it together is marriage, enjoyment in the context of what? A man and a woman. What do they do? Come one. Okay, they come together. All right, we'll get back to this in a little bit. All right, so man and a woman, they come together as a gift from God in the context of marriage to what each other? To enjoy each other, okay? Whenever sexual immorality comes into our lives, anything, remember? Remember the definition? Jeff, if you can put the definition of sexual immorality up, um, we're going to put this back up so you can kind of get, get this into your mind. It says, well, Jeff, that's not it. All right, so sexual immorality, there you go. All right, sexual immorality, pornea, is any activity or desire that takes place outside the context of marriage. Anything, okay? So what happens is when we unite together, what God had put together, no one should what? No one should separate. This is the way it's supposed to be. And I'm telling you what, just kind of give you a little insight, and I, this might be embarrassing, but I don't care. Check this out. Check that out. Listen, Rachel and I were virgins when we got married. Can I get a Hallelujah. That doesn't happen much. Were the desires there? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So we were virgins when we got married. All right. So we've been married almost 20 years, maybe 19, 19 years. And I'm telling you what, I have no worries. I have no thoughts about other people, other desires, feelings about other people. Why? Because we can have great sex because we're unified the way God created it to be. Isn't that awesome? But this is what many of you guys have done with pornography, sex outside of marriage, sexual immorality in any way. We basically take that, and we're like, it's not supposed to come apart. So in relationships that are built together, there's always leftover pieces. Whenever you imagine a different color getting attached to it, and then a different color, the pornography that you look at, and then all of a sudden it's not united together as a yellow, it's a green, it's a purple, it's a black, it's whatever, anything that you want to look at. And this is man or woman. I just chose to rip off the, the woman part, but there's leftover pieces. And that is why God says, you know what, it's just, this is what it's supposed to be. Anything out of that context, uniting to a prostitute, you become one flesh with them. You add layers of sex onto your life. It doesn't look anything the way it used to be. So ladies and gentlemen, may this be a visual image that if you're looking at pornography, it's going to rip your marriage apart. If you are having an affair right now, ladies, with an emotional state, you're ripping your marriage apart. Any desires you have... This is what marriages look like today, correct? Many other reasons, yes. But one, dealing with sex is because it's supposed to be united together as one. And that's what Paul is saying. He's like, never. Would we do this? No, we wouldn't. Why? Because uniting together with anybody else that's not your spouse, man or woman, is not God's intention. Hey, you just watched a clip of something that's very important to us, and that is God's Word. We want to encourage you to get invested in God's Word. Grab a Bible, invest in it, open it up, and just read something. Maybe it's something from the clip or a sermon that you heard. Get plugged in, get discipled, and join a church somewhere. If you're not a part of Catalyst Church, find a church to get involved in, because we believe that disciples make disciples, and we would love for you to be a disciple. Join the mystery and the joy of being a believer of Jesus Christ.